Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be going over this really simple beginner DIY solar kit by Lion Energy. I think it's really cool. It comes with a solar panel that's 100 watts, it comes with a charge controller, you can get the kit with or without the battery uh, from Lion Energy that's a lithium iron phosphate battery which are great for thousands and thousands of charge cycles. And um, it also comes with a 400 watt modified sine wave inverter that puts out 400 watts with two AC plugs and four USB ports. So with this kit, it's incredibly simple to turn a shed or an outbuilding or for van lifers to have a simple little solar kit so they can provide power. Um, and it's just really, really simple and affordable. So I thought I would go over it today. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so basically what we're going to do is just kind of show you the components. I'll throw them together. I'll show you what it can run. And if you do end up being interested, there is a link down below. It's an affiliate link of mine. It'll save you 15% on anything you get at Lion Energy, which saves you quite a bit. So click that link, head over there, check it out if you're interested. Uh, why don't we get right out to the videos and I'll just show you this stuff and what it can do. Let's check it out. Okay, so if you were going to set this up on your garage roof or your shed, you just simply mount the solar panel to the roof, then you run your 25-foot Anderson cable, and you're going to go ahead and mount your charge controller, and that's going to plug right into the solar panel with the Anderson cable and attachment. Place your battery, and once you've done that, you can connect the battery uh, terminals up, and that's going to connect to your charge controller. So you put on those little ring terminals, and then you're just going to plug those in, red to positive, black to negative, now your battery's connected. And now for the inverter, what comes with the kit is uh, two alligator clips that you just attach. I think I'd probably switch these to ring terminals as well, buy the extra set on their website uh, to attach the battery for permanent installs. But at least this way you can attach them to pretty much any car battery very easily and uh, use the inverter. So once you mount the inverter, you turn it on and you are all set, you're done. Plug in whatever you want in your garage, you're good to go. Up to 400 watts, of course. Now this is my setup, super simple. I mean, there it is. Uh, it really just doesn't take a lot to do it. You're going to connect your ring terminals, hook that up. Everything's labeled on the charge controller. Uh, there you have your solar leads. We're going to plug in the solar panel, that 100 watt panel. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our 400 watt inverter. And we're going to be off to the race. It's really, really simple. I mean, it just doesn't get any easier than that. So once we connect this red to positive, black to negative, uh, then we can turn on the power and start plugging in all these devices. Um, so I'm just going to mess around with the charge controller, turn on the little light with the switch there. Any 12 volt source directly to the battery with the switch, that's very handy on the charge controller. It doesn't run off the inverter at all. Then we're going to power on the inverter, turn on our fans and coolers and tablets and lights and things, and then we're going to jump in and take a closer look here at everything. The charge controller even has a switch built in so you can hook up any 12 volt source like LED lights. The little button on it so you can control it right from the unit itself. And over here, as we see the 400 watt inverter, we just switch that on. It has four USBs, two on each side, two AC outlets there as well. And if you need to plug in more stuff, just add a surge protector with USBs and plugs. And you can see we're charging a Bluetooth speaker, Lion Energy portable power devices, Ryobi power drill so you can use power tools, flashlights. Uh, tablets. It's a fire stick tablet there. See if we got turned on. There we go. And we have our Dometic electric cooler, smart tele fan. You can just run a lot of stuff with this guy and uh, you're going to be good to go and you can charge it all back up with the sun. So I think that's pretty cool. Laptops, cell phones, whatever you want. And in case you were wondering how much all this stuff uses as far as energy goes, I hooked up a watt meter and we're pulling 93 watts, charging batteries, running coolers, flashlights. These are taking power with their power supplies being charged, the tablet, uh, the battery, the fan, the cooler, all that stuff. And you can see we're right at about 108 watts. So you could literally power all of these things using that solar panel in ideal conditions, maybe a little bit less maybe about 90 watts. So most of this stuff, maybe if we lose the uh, tablet or something, we'd be right at 100. And so I think that's really cool that uh, basically we kind of nailed it without even meaning to. All that stuff, about 100 watts worth of solar, and the inverter itself is 400 watts. And so you could run this stuff during the day with total sun, and then have tons of battery capacity left to run it all at night. So I think that's pretty cool. And of course this stuff is all gonna take less power once it's finally charged up. So very cool little system. 
I also thought, you know, you can choose between any of these batteries, which is great. Um, and they, they range all the way from 20 amp hours to 50 amp hour, 56 amp hours, all the way up to 105 amp hours with their biggest battery, the Safari UT1300, which I use in my RV. So lots of selection there for the power that you need. It's just a really cool overall little kit, simple as it can be. And I also thought it'd be cool just to do a low power draw using only my laptop and powering a camera. So I'm powering the laptop and the camera. And uh, we started using about 30 watts. And then once all the batteries charged up, we were running everything at about 20 watts. And so I just let this run and run and run to kind of see what it'd be like uh, to use this in a van for something simple like a laptop. And keep in mind, since this is only using 20 watts of power right here running this laptop, uh, you could easily connect this to the 100 watt solar panel and uh, you'd be running this all day and charging your battery and then you'd have plenty of battery capacity at night. I even hook up a little Bluetooth speaker, put on a video to make sure that the laptop is doing something. And uh, that's it, we made it five hours and 55 minutes with no solar coming in. So that's a really long reserve time after you've used the solar panel all day and your batteries are charged. Very cool. Well, there you go. I think it's just kind of a neat kit. It's very simple. It's for beginners. It's obviously going to have its limitations as far as running power tools or a microwave or a refrigerator that's, you know, huge. 400 watts is for smaller stuff. But I've used it to run my TV. I've used it to run my laptop. I've used it to run all that stuff that you saw outside. And I even have it on my workbench downstairs that I use to, like, drain batteries and test capacity and different things like that. I've been using it for about a year now. So I really enjoy it. It's been working great. Um, and it's just a real simple kit all the way around. The solar panel is rock steady. If it can hold me walking around on it, I'd say you're probably good to go. And you can mount that to the roof or you can use it like a portable suitcase and take it around with you. And, and that's really cool. And the, the thing I really like about the inverter as well is that it comes with all these cool little attachments. Um, you can obviously just plug this straight into a cigarette lighter adapter and boom, you can, you can power some stuff off your AC inverter and you have four extra USB ports for those road trips or what have you. Um, so I think that's really cool. You could even run like a really powerful LED floodlight that's AC powered, like this one is 150 watts. This would handle that no problem. So if you wanna light up your garage out there, something that doesn't have power, um, I think that's a really, really cool little viable beginner option. You can add solar panels to it later. You can change the size of the battery. It's, it's pretty cool. Also, um, I was, oh, another cool idea would be just to have it in your house running, say, your modem and your router for your internet, because if the power ever goes out, you would still have internet, uh, which I think is very, very cool. And this would handle that no problem with other accessories. Then you could plug in like a laptop and a phone and you would have internet access and connection to the outside world, even if the power went out, or maybe if that's all you need in an off-grid cabin setup or a van life setup. So pretty cool. Click the link down below, save you 15% if you're interested. And that link will save you 15% on everything. They have all kinds of kits and gear and stuff that'll be pretty fun little gifts for Christmas. And I do lots of reviews on a lot of that stuff. So that about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.